Virginia has a new spirit, and its creator is most unlikely. Becky Harris is a chemical engineer who became a stay-at-home mom. Now she's back at work, running a small-town distillery, making modern-day but legal moonshine. This would be 184 proof at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Becky and husband Scott founded the Catoctin Creek Distilling Company just last year. Their rye-based products are both organic and kosher. But why a distillery? It's just something we really wanted to do. It's something really different, and it's something that uh, uh, also dovetails nicely with the wine industry that's growing in Virginia right now. Getting started wasn't easy. It took 12 months to take courses, visit other distilleries, and write a business plan. In the old days, moonshine was illegal and came from clandestine stills, homemade contraptions. Today, stills are efficient and expensive works of art. I myself like the process, running the equipment. This is a really beautiful piece of equipment. Uh, Scott likes to compare it to a fine German sports car, and really, it handles incredibly well. Located in a small Purcellville industrial park, this distillery produces rye, gin, and white whiskey, named for Confederate Colonel John Mosby. It's a two-person, labor-intensive, hands-on operation. With the help of volunteers on bottling day, they'll produce 10,000 bottles of spirits this year. The distillery is a good neighbor. Its spent mash even feeds local cows. Starting a family business is challenging, says George Mason entrepreneur-in-residence Jim Wolf. It's very tough because they have so many things to do. They're chief cook and bottle washer. They're planning the business, executing the business, raising money, trying to sell product out the back door. It's really tough. Their new business has taught the Harrises new things. Becky really does most of the work basically during the day and uh, does the lion's share of all the distilling. And then I do most of the books and stuff in the evening. So we have kind of complementary skills. For now, Scott will keep his day job, but the Harrises are committed to producing a quality regional product. Sales are going well. Um, we've been surprised and, and, and quite happy to see that, in, especially in Loudoun County, where we're based, um, we're selling off the shelves um, right away. So look out, Kentucky distillers. You've got new competition. Wendy Jones, NBC News, Purcellville, Virginia.